At Allbore Portland, we devote a great deal of energy to taking care of ourselves and one another. We have an efficient health and safety organisation, and the issue of safety is an integral part of the working day at Allbore Portland. We don't compromise on safety. This film informs you about the safety rules at Allbore Portland. You must have watched this safety film before you start work. After this you will be given a safety label to stick on your helmet and a welcome folder. Welcome to employees in companies working at Aalborg Portland. At Allbore Portland, we've introduced environmental, health and safety and quality management throughout the plant, which is accredited in accordance with OHSAS 18001 on occupational health and safety. The management system includes instructions, and it's important that you know and comply with the instructions drawn up for the type of work you will be carrying out. The information is available in electronic form under Process Management on Allbore Portland's intranet. When in doubt, you're always welcome to ask a member of the Health and Safety Group or an Allbore Portland supervisor. Allbore Portland's Health and Safety Organization can be found under Process Management on Allbore Portland's intranet. The Health and Safety Group consists of a supervisor and a Health and Safety representative. You can recognize the Health and Safety representative by the green helmet and the supervisor by the yellow one. The Health and Safety Group is your link to the Health and Safety Organization and if you have any questions in relation to the working environment and safety in your daily work at Oldborg Portland, you're always welcome to contact the Health and Safety Group or the Health and Safety Manager. Together you can handle safety problems and help to prevent safety and health problems from arising. In cases of problems that the Health and Safety Group cannot handle, they will be sent on to the Health and Safety Organisation. Allbore Portland's Health and Safety Organisation and Health and Safety and Environment and Energy advise the management. The overall responsibility for occupational health and safety rests with the management. The Health and Safety Manager advises the Health and Safety Organisation and ensures that safety rules are complied with. The Health and Safety Manager acts as an advisor for all questions about the working environment and the external environment. Everyday work depends on your safety and on the efforts of you and your colleagues. At Oldbore Portland there are info centres where you'll find all the necessary information about the working environment. The info centres are located at the gate, at the warehouse and in the control room. The information is also available from the health and safety manager on request. The safety rules are the most important things for you to know before you start your job. The safety instructions provide you with information about the precautions to be taken when you're working and, most importantly, about which machines must be locked. The chemical files contain safety data sheets so you can read how to handle the chemicals you'll be using. The chemical files contain information about all of the materials and substances used at Oldborg Portland. The chemical data sheets are also available in electronic form on Oldborg Portland's intranet. The safety instructions are available in SAP and at the info centres and can be obtained from Oldborg Portland employees. As an Oldborg Portland employee, you'll be instructed in the correct use of the personal protective equipment that you can see on the poster. External companies must provide their own personal equipment. 
If you're in doubt about anything you've read on the poster, you can ask a supervisor or a health and safety representative to explain it to you. You must be familiar with and obey the instructions given in the safety instructions and the chemical data sheets. The use of safety helmets is mandatory in most areas of the plant. Signs show the roads where you can walk without a helmet. Safety helmets must also be worn when welding and flame cutting. The correct use of protective equipment is an essential part of preventive safety measures. As an Allball Portland employee, protective equipment is available from your department or from the warehouse at all times. Protective equipment for external workers must be supplied by their own employer. For some tasks, you'll need a respirator. Different types are available depending on the task you're going to perform and how long it will take. You can read about the different types of personal protective equipment on the poster. Respirators with filters are available, but they must not be used for more than three hours a day. If you have to work with a respirator for more than three hours, you must use an air-supplied full-face mask. This will supply you with air with the help of a compressor. The compressor is available at the warehouse. If you're going to work with noisy machines, you must use a hearing protector. Earmuffs deaden noise best. Earplugs can also be used in most areas, except in the mills. A hearing protector must be used properly, and we would ask you to keep them clean. There are signs in the areas where hearing protectors must be used. The use of safety goggles is recommended, and they must be used for some tasks. When cement comes into contact with water or moisture, it acts as a corrosive and this will happen if you get it in your eyes or on sweaty skin. External companies must provide their employees with personal protective equipment. You will see many safety signs at Allball Portwood which you must obey. Also pay attention to marking strips showing shielding which must also be obeyed. Consider the use of chains or a fixed barrier. When you use safety equipment, please remember that it must be returned again immediately after you've finished your work or another safety arrangement must be made. There must be a proper barrier around the surrounding area when lifting with a crane. Slings and straps for lifting gear must be approved and in order. Please be aware that when using a lift at Allboard Portland's premises, a floor man must always be present. The safety belt in the lift must always be used and both the lift operator and the floor man must have completed a course regarding the use of lifts at Allboard Portland. Contact the PRO office in order to borrow a lift. Daily tidying up and cleaning is very important to prevent accidents. It's your task to keep your work area tidy and free from waste, materials and tools. Use S-hooks for hanging up cables and similar so that walking areas can be safely passed. Remember ventilation when flame cutting, welding and angle grinding so you do not inhale gases or particles. Remember to check if blocks, wires, chain slings, hand tools, ladders and similar have been inspected within the past 12 months. Scaffolding must be signposted with an occupation permit, a green sign. When erecting, moving and dismantling scaffolding, it must be signposted with a red no access sign.
When working at the burner stations, you must pay special attention to the safety rules. Before you start working on a machine, you must study the safety instructions. You can read how to lock a machine in the instructions. Most machines at Oldboard Portland are controlled and monitored from the central control room. Therefore, it's important for you to lock the machine so that control room staff cannot start it while you're working on it. The safety instructions for the job you're doing tell you what must be secured and locked. It's your responsibility to make sure that the machine is locked. If you ignore this precaution, you'll be given a warning. First, you must stop the machine. You do this by calling the control room. The machine is now stopped. The next step is to lock the machine. You must switch off the repair switch and insert your safety lock in the switch. This also applies to locking manual valves and shut-off valves for the hydraulic systems. If you're in doubt about their location, ask one of Albor Portland's supervisors or electricians. Your safety lock must be marked with your department or company name and employee number. Even if a safety lock is already inserted, you must still insert your own. There is room for three locks, and room can be made for more if necessary. Sometimes it may be necessary to lock other machines if they are linked to each other. Extra locks are available from your supervisor. Some installations are locked with departmental safety locks, and the keys are hung in a locker. You must lock this locker with your personal safety lock. A locked machine cannot be started, neither from the control room nor on the machine. You can start work when you have locked the machine, but not until you put on any personal safety equipment required for the task you're going to perform. This is described in the safety instructions for the task. If full protection equipment is required, this is available from the warehouse for Olbor Portland employees. External companies must provide full protection equipment for their own employees. When you finish your work on the machine, it's important to remove the locks. You must then report back to the control room. Remember to do these things every time you're going to work on a machine. This is the only way we can be sure that you and your colleagues will not have accidents. You're always welcome to apply to a supervisor or a health and safety representative from Albor Portland if you're in doubt or need more information. If an emergency arises during operations and people or machines are in danger, you must always use the emergency stop device. In some places, such as along belt conveyors, emergency stop devices are wires. If you activate an emergency stop device, you must immediately notify the control room. In cases of serious accidents, you must call 0112 if you call from a regular phone. This will connect you to the gatekeeper who will call an ambulance or the fire brigade. If you call from a mobile phone, you must call the emergency call service 112 and after that the gatekeeper on phone number 9877-7550 to notify him that assistance is on its way. 
When calling the gatekeeper, you must tell him your name and the name of your company and what kind of accident has happened and where it has happened. You must also make sure you send a man to the gate who can show where the accident happened when the ambulance or fire brigade arrives. If the gate is unmanned, the phone numbers will automatically be transferred to the control room and a member of staff will call in the necessary assistance. A plant protection unit has been set up at Aldboard Portland and it has different tasks in connection with crises, emergencies and wars. In peacetime, the safety management system is part of the daily emergency system. There are boards at the gate, in the reception area and the canteen that describe warning and evacuation plans. Information about plant protection unit members can be found in the quality management system process management on the intranet. If you get cement in your eyes, for example, it's important to rinse them immediately. There are bottles containing eye rinse in all departments. Use the small blue bottle first and then the big green bottle. There are also emergency showers in the departments if you get acid on your skin, for example, or have been burned. If you're involved in an accident at work, as an Allboard Portland employee, you must fill in an accident report as soon as possible after the accident, together with your health and safety group. The accident report will be discussed in the health and safety organization and used to help prevent a similar accident happening again. For external companies, the incident must be handled by your own company, and Allboard Portland's health and safety manager must be informed in writing of the industrial accident and possible absence from work. Near accidents must also be registered and passed on to the health and safety manager. This applies both to Allboard Portland employees and to external craftsmen. These registrations are important and can help prevent accidents occurring. Employees and external craftsmen must have approval to perform work involving high temperatures, which means they must have completed a firefighting course and be familiar with all Port Portland's instructions for performing hot work. This course must be taken every three years. Companies and names of employees who are authorized to perform hot work are registered in the process management system on the intranet. Be aware of fire risks, especially when you're flame cutting, welding, angle grinding and similar. Obey the existing safety rules and take extra care with glow discharge in cable trays, ducts and similar. You must pay special attention to other employees who may be working in the area. In cases of special tasks or areas, a fire guard from Allboard Portland must be present. Remember to bring firefighting equipment and perhaps a fire blanket. This can be borrowed from Allboard Portland's warehouse. Be aware of the fact that special precautions must be taken in relation to avoiding explosions and fires when working in the coal mills, the oil preheater room and meat and bone meal room. An Allboard Portland employee must be informed when work is completed in order to plan the subsequent fire round. Everyone who's been given an access token must remember to register every time he or she passes the main gate. This also applies to traffic to and from the canteen. The general traffic rules must be observed when you're on Oldboard Portland's premises. Maximum speed permitted is 30 km an hour. There are many cyclists and heavy goods vehicles in the area, so drive as the situation requires and show consideration. Don't forget to use bicycle lights during the hours of darkness.
Now you've learned something about what we do at Old Borg Portland to ensure our mutual safety. We hope that you'll take note of what you have learned to ensure that Old Borg Portland remains a safe place to work. Only your support and active efforts can make this a success. We welcome you to work.